And now, Ask Super Nanny. What's the best way to make sure children are up and out of the house in time for school? A. Wake them up half an hour earlier than you normally would. B. If they don't get up right away, give them a warning and do not fear sending them off to school even if they are in their pajamas. C. Prepare the night before and get up with them so you can give them good direction. The answer is A, B and C. Actually, all of the above are important. So remember, prepare the night before so you don't set you and the kids up for disaster. After watching the DVD, I certainly know that this family need a reminder of the timeout steps, especially Dad, so that they can remember that and then follow through and execute it properly. Naughty step. Number one, warning. Timeout explanation. Why? Why do you have to explain to him? So that you know what, what you're doing that's wrong so you won't do it again. Joe made me go through the various steps in front of the kids. What's the purpose of explaining to the children a second time? After they've had a chance to calm down, it reinforces the discipline as far as whether they're running into time. I think Danielle's got it down pat, but she wanted to really emphasize it with me, and so it was very helpful. So right. that's better. I'll hang that up. Well said. I think the important thing is, is that Dad now has the steps. So once he's hung it up, then he can follow through, and it's going to be a matter of practice, really. And it was not long before the family sat down for lunch and JJ got himself into trouble. Yeah. We're not going to say that because that's rude. JJ, we don't talk about poop. Yeah. JJ? No. Listen, hey, okay, this is not... your warning. You do not talk about poop while we're sitting at the table. I'm going to put you in a timeout. Stop polite. I'm tired. Not so loud. I'm stupid. No, don't say silly okay. words. Okay, JJ. Let me warn you about saying poop at the table. That's really rude and it's bad manners. I'd love Joe to do it because oh, okay. the discipline board up there. Okay. Come here. Joe, follow Thank through you. with the JJ. steps. Listen, you can't use your same bad words at the dinner table, and Mommy warned you. So now it's, you have to sit in time out, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna go back to the table. We're gonna meet with Carlo. Come away, come away. Carlo's not acting bad. Come away, come away, come away. Dad definitely needs some work on learning when to walk away and to stop talking. But despite JJ screaming, Dad stood his ground and JJ did a full three minutes in timeout. You're sitting in timeout because you said bad, nasty things to mommy at the dining room table and the bad words. Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, come here, give me a hug. I love you. It wasn't a perfect timeout, but it really was better than what he'd been doing before. And with the reminder board in place, it can only get better. As for mum, I'd asked her to take some time out for herself, so I was interested to see what she'd been up to. I've been looking at the Master's of Social Work program, and also I was looking at a creative writing class too. I've definitely taken the first step, and that's the greatest step to take. And I'm just moving on up from here. I think it's amazing. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, literally, you just felt guilty. Right. You were like, how am I going to do this? I can't. I'm raising a family. And look. It's exciting just to have it all kind of coming into place. Just the whole getting back into there is just, it's really fantastic. Mm. I am my own person, and I can pursue my own dreams. And that's ultimately just going to make me a much better mother. Yeah, there's, there's life outside of your house. It's liberating, isn't it? It is. It's wonderful. A sense of freedom. Yeah. She's very, very eager and enthusiastic. And for me, it's a wonderful place to see Danielle. And guess who's going to benefit? The whole family. Come on over, guys. Come on, folks. Because JoJo's leaving now. <gasps> hey. <laughs> This has been the most overwhelming journey of my life. It's transformed my whole family, and I couldn't be more grateful. Joe, thank you very much for helping our family. We learned a lot in the last two weeks. I'll give you a monster hug. Thanks, Zozo. Oh. Bye-bye, Joe. Bye-bye. Yeah. When I first arrived at the Colombo family, Mum and Dad were desperate. They now have more harmony in the house. I feel super confident about the road that we're on and it's gonna keep on getting better and better.